This is for the army. Okay. Let's go. December 24. December 24 is for the Catholics, right? Yes. But as we see, we have got three communities. So we have got three Christmases as well. 24th of December until the 6th of January, the Epiphany Day, it is for the Catholics. The 6th of January, it is Christmas Eve for the Greek Orthodox until the 18th of, June, of January. Mm. The 18th is the Epiphany for the Greek Orthodox. The 18th is also the Christmas Eve for the Armenian Orthodox until the 2nd of February. Well, we have got three, three Christmases. 25 December, 7th of January, 19th of January. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just to, for your own information. So that's why this church it is still following the status quo very, very, very strictly. Okay? Okay. Have you got any questions before we go to the midnight Christmas mass? Why? Please. <laughs> Did you, did you hear this question? Yes. She said, which day was exactly Jesus was born? Was born. Uh, we are not sure. Yeah, yeah. We don't know. It's not written in the Bible. But why the, the church adopted the 25th of December? Why? why? I said before, it's a very clever question. Thank you very much. I said before, there was a paganism temple down there, right? Okay. The paganism temple was for the idol of the sun. Mm. The feast of that idol was the 25th of December. That is my... The Christians, they say, Jesus Christ is also born. the sun for us. He gives us the light. Yeah. So they adopted the same date. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They adopted the 25th of December. Ah. But we are not sure at all about the, the exact date of birth. One more question. Please. Thank you for that uh, answer. I've been looking for that answer for so long. Now the second question is Jesus, Yeshua. Yeshua. Which one is best correct? Jesus in English. Yeshua it is according to the Hebrew. But, but in English, Jesus has no meaning. It's the same. Yeshua, that means the person who saves. Who helps? That is in Yeshua. Yeshua. And Jesus in English. That was the translation. But the meaning of this of this word means the person who helps, who saves. But his original name was Yeshua. Yeshua, according to the Hebrew. According to the Hebrew. Yes. What about in Arabic? Yeshua. 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 Very similar. Very much. Well, that's what you need. More questions, please. I I love questions. I used to be a teacher. <laughs> Believe me, when the, the, the students ask the teacher, that means they, they, they understand. Yeah, you know? yeah. Okay, let's go.
Who has come here before? Are you all for the first time? Yes. yes. I have opened this time, sorry. Even though I asked the guy before, but nobody wants me to go here inside. Just only you. you met. Was it me? Okay, for, for instance. What is this? What is this key all about? Actually, I said in the beginning, you are very lucky. Believe me, winter is the high season. And this period used to be the high season. That means we have got to wait two hours, three hours in the line before going to the game. Because there were a lot of people all over the world coming to visit. But unfortunately, coronavirus damaged everything. Believe it or not, this is my first group since the 5th of March 2020. The first group. Nobody cares about us. Anyway, I'm saying that because we are, and you are very lucky to come here. Usually, when the groups come and they are short on time, they don't go everywhere. They just go to the spot, the place of birth, which is the most important. But also these caves are very important. Look at the scene. It's called Saint Jerome. Saint Jerome, the one who translated the Bible. The Bible was written in Hebrew and in Greek. The old the first the first scribes. scribes. So people were not able to understand. The common language at that time, at the time of Jesus Christ, and afterwards, was the Latin, mm. right? Yeah. So, an angel appeared to him. He was very good in the language, he said. Appeared to him and told him, please go to the Holy Land. Take the original books of the Holy Bible, the Old Testament and the New Testament. 48 books in the Old Testament, 72 books in the New Testament, mm. and translate them into Latin. And that translation was called the Vulgate. The Vulgate because it was not well done. It was common language. Right? But it was much easier for everybody to understand the Holy Bible. Mm. So, this saint was the one who lived in this very cave for 34 years of his life to translate the Bible. To translate the Bible, 381 until 420. So he passed 34, three, uh, 34 years of his life to translate the Bible. That means most of his life was spent in this very cave. Together with him, there was, there was also Saint Saint Uzeri from Italy, Santa Paula and her daughter Ostacchio. They helped them with the other things, you know, to give him some 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 help sometimes. And he was he used to go to Jerusalem to take the, the original books from the Hakam, from you know, from, from Rabbi. He used to go there in the night and then came back to like working in the night with the candles and then go back in the morning. You know, it was not easy. His tomb is over there. It is an empty tomb. Because the original bones, his, his bones are in, in Rome. Uh, in Santa Maria Maggiore. And, and there's a church there, it's called Santa Maria Maggiore. So this came the place where he used to live. The empty tomb. And over there, there's an, another interesting thing I will explain to you. Have you got any question about this place? No. Okay, let's go. Thank you very much.
this key will open. Please have a look at this semi arch over here. That was the entrance of the cave, of the brothel at the time of Jesus Christ. That was the entrance. Because Jesus Christ, the face of earth, is just behind this wall. Do you remember? We were there. But when they divided between Catholics, you know, start the for, they built this wall. And this space became for the Catholics. Since they gave them only two square meters there, they told them, oh, you can get these, these caves. So that was the entrance, and they used to go at the end, because it was warmer, as, as it's written in the Bible. Okay, so this, uh, this altar was called, and they built it, to, to honor St. Joseph. What happened to St. Joseph? Uh, do you remember what happened to him when an angel appeared to him and told him to fly to Egypt? Yes. Why? Because King Herod wanted to kill all the girls. Oh. Yes, and young. She's the King Herod was not happy at all about the birth of Jesus Christ, and he was extremely jealous. He told the three kings when they asked him about the exact place of birth in Jerusalem. Please, you go first to honor his birth and come back to tell me where he was born. He was thinking, of course, to come here to Bethlehem to kill Jesus Christ. The three kings went back home from another way, through the Judean desert. So the, 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 the king Herod was, was angry, was not happy. He decided to come here to Bethlehem to kill all the children below two years old. No? Yes. The Holy Innocence. But in the meanwhile, an angel, an angel appeared to St. Joseph and told him, please, take your family, look at that image over there, take your family and fly to Egypt. So that's where we remember this Arta, what happened to St. Joseph. Of course, it's not the exact place, but it should be in this area. And over there, this is the cemetery of the Holy Innocents, of the, of the children who were killed by Herod the Great. Cemetery? Have a look. Yeah. Cemetery. This is a cemetery where <laughs> children that were killed by Herod during the time of Jesus Christ was buried. Wow, this is the children's... Oh, my battery is finished. Can we go directly to Milky Grotto? Yes! yes. 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 